Yo, what is going on guys, Swish here bringing you guys another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best landing spots to gain points fast in Arena in Season 6. And before we get into the video, I just want to say leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you like it, let me know if you want more videos like this. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first landing spot we're going to be talking about today is this Junk Junction spot on the map right over here next to Dirty. Now, I think this is one of the best spots for Soul Arena because if you just place this, you land here easily. You leave here with plenty of car parts every time to upgrade all your weapons. It is a actually a ridiculous amount how much weapons you can get. And also, if you come over here to this dummy guy, you can see just you automatically spawn with 50 gold. So you can walk up to him and you can upgrade a weapon just like that. And also, if you guys want to leave here with a spaz, you can also go to him and he has challenges for you. So this is 145 gold. So what you can do is you can bring a car to combat cars. Now, I find this challenge really simple. All you got to do is walk out of here, go over here, grab this truck. It's always there, so don't worry about it. Once you have this truck, you just drive it, bring it over to the compact car. And there, that's already a 5120 gold. And as you can see, you just need 20 more gold, and that's it. And he has two more challenges, is use his line and catch air in a vehicle. Catch easy air time like that. 80 plus bars, there we go. And obviously you can see now you have 200 gold and you can easily get a purple spaz. And then you just carry on the rest of the game. All right guys, so the second spot that's gonna be really good for Arena is this Misty Meadows. I think this is really good because in here, it sometimes spawns with that car and that car over there and that guarantees two, um, two gears and that would upgrade a great makeshift shotgun. This and these two houses are the best spots for duos because one person can get this house here and one person can get, can get this house here. For example, if somebody lands here and they get a great shotgun and these two, uh, these barricades spawn over here, come over here, break this car, and then break this van, and then boom, that's guaranteed two car parts. Now you have a green pump. Alright guys, and one more really good thing for gaining car parts fast in these types of cars that you can drive is if you shoot it, if you shoot it with like a low weapon rarity gun like this, the more you shoot it, you have a better chance of getting it than you would if you were just a sling of pickaxe. Also, one more really neat thing that I found over here is, for example, if you find a blue primal bow, you get a gas can, you pick it up, and you can actually craft a primal flame bow, which is from this. And this is actually really overpowered in my opinion. It sets all builds on fire and it does 70 damage or 60 damage to the body and it does about 140 to the head. So, all right guys, and one more final thing before you go. If you don't have enough car parts, just remember you do have a boat over here. You can treat the boat, boat for car parts. It is really good. I do recommend it if you don't have any car parts. And yeah, that's about it. All right guys, we are here at our third and final location. And this is gonna be Weeping Woods. I think this is a really good spot, once again, because there's lots of loot over here. There's tons of cars over here. There's a uh, NPC character over there. There's an NPC character over there. And you can actually uh, get really easy quests from this dude, and you can get a riff from her. A riff would be a really good rotation. Once again, as I said before, you guys can see that there's tons of cars. This is guaranteed five car parts every time. This is good in solos, duos, and trios game mode. Here, you can have five car parts. You have one that always spawns there. And then you have that one truck always goes over there. And then about two or three that always spawn over here. So as long as you get one from each car, you're always getting 10 car parts every time you go weeping. If you guys don't know, the lady over there that's like invisible or whatever, it's 245 gold for a rift. And... Mr. Sash Sergeant over here. If you destroy 10 trees, he gives you 120 gold. And if you destroy four, or if you just pick up mushrooms or eat them, he'll give you 120 gold. So if you do do those both, uh, you will end up with 240 gold plus the 50 that you already spawned with. So that is 290 gold, making it so you can leave here with a rift every time. Also, one more really good thing is if you land over here, there's always going to be frogs along this river somewhere. So if you end up having a boat like this, you can easily upgrade it to a primal. Then once you have your primal, swim down the river, swim up it until you find a frog. You kill the frog and then you'll get this little frog sack and you can actually upgrade your primal bow to a stink bow and it's actually really good. 
Also, if you guys prefer the fire bell instead of the sink bell, there's also fireflies around here. You can collect these and, and craft them into a fire bell. Alright, guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff down below. And hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.